So how do you interpret different diagrams? The diagram we will be using most is the XY diagram and that one doesn't have any temperature in it. So the temperature decreases as X increases. Well, X is the molar fraction of the most volatile component. If you want to make the diagram like this yourself, you need to iterate. Uh, a problem here is that all real solutions are essentially non-ideal, so you need activity coefficients. And even if you have, if you take simple equations for um, activity coefficients, activity coefficients will vary with concentration, and yeah, it, you will end up with an iteration. But you need to in, be able to interpret other diagrams as well, like the TX diagram or boiling point diagram, where you have temperature on one axis and the composition of gas and liquid on the X axis. And uh, what you do is that, for example, if you're boiling liquid of 40% in this system, you take 40% and then go you up to the boiling point curve, and then you go straight over to the gas, and then go down again to read what the composition in the gas phase is. And why do you do that? Well, because if you have an equilibrium between a boiling gas, boiling liquid, and a condensing gas, then those two phases have the same temperature. Okay, try to solve the following task. Interpret a TX diagram for ethanol benzene at 40 kilopascal. That diagram has a boiling point minima and you should find in the first two tasks you you should uh, answer what the composition of the boiling liquid is that is in equilibrium with the condensing gas that has either 15 mole percent ethanol or 80 mole percent ethanol so the two different tasks there and then there are two other tasks where you instead should answer what is the composition of the boiling liquid a uh, boiling <laughs> What is the composition of the condensing gas that is in equilibrium with a boiling liquid that has 50 mole percent ethanol or 80 mole percent ethanol? Okay, so we start with the case where we have a condensing gas, a 50 mole percent ethanol. So we start up there, go straight down to the dew point curve and make a horizontal line, constant temperature and find a point on the boiling curve and that's the composition of the of the liquid next we take 80 mole percent ethanol and we see that now we go so we have uh, a liquid composition that is higher in ethanol so you go in different directions here but it's not that difficult to remember because you just draw a horizontal line and then you see which which line is to the right and which one is to the left. Okay, so let's take instead that you have a boiling liquid at 15 more percent ethanol and you want to find out what the composition of the gas is. So then you go from below and you find it like that. So the final one is we have 80 more percent in a boiling liquid. And what is the gas composition? Well, we go straight up, over and down. So that was that. So time to look at the HXY diagram. So where you have the enthalpy on the y-axis and the, the composition of the gas and the liquid on the x-axis. So in the, uh, this diagram here, uh, what energy is needed to evaporate uh, a liquid if the composition in the liquid is 20 mole percent and A, everything is to be evaporated and B, if there should be an equilibrium between a boiling liquid and a condensing gas and the liquid should have 20 mole percent ethanol. So 20 percent, if we evaporate everything then the gas and the liquid has the same composition so we just go straight up and compare the value down here, the enthalpy for the boiling liquid with the enthalpy for the condensing gas. If instead we want to have an equilibrium between 
two faces, then the two faces have to have the same temperature, so we have to follow a constant temperature line. Now this is a simplified diagram, but let's draw something that's approximately parallel to that one. Note that the slopes are actually different on the different lines, but it's somewhere around there. So in this case the evaporation enthalpy is actually less because this enthalpy of the condensing gas is decreasing here for this system. And if you want to know the temperature uh, at which uh, this boils, and so this liquid here boils and this condensing gas condenses, then that's approximately 82.9 degrees, slightly less. You see that it decreases down to 79 here, so it's somewhere in between.